Leslie McIntosh, and I'm at the Washington, Washington University in St. Louis at the Center for Biomedical Informatics. So the promise and challenge of sharing, reusing, and preserving research data have moved to the forefront in this issue of data deluge with the exponential growth rate of data accumulation. Manuscripts are talking about storing and analyzing data, and yet um, the focus is not on a quick, systematic, and meaningful manner. As the African proverb goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go far with a group. This is our group, Cornell University and Washington University. We're also working with the University of Melbourne and talking with the Canadian group on data discoverability, making this one project that is a collaborative, collaborative effort across librarians and researchers working across domains and geographical borders in an effort to improve data discoverability. So um, what is Datastar? Well, it originated with Cornell University in its first incarnation as a data staging repository, as shown here. However, this proved actually to be rather untenable because it was far too labor intensive to be um, sustainable or realistic, and that phase of the project has been brought to a close. So in reconceiving the idea, we chose to focus on the idea of research data registry and um, using metadata for data discovery. Um, with this purpose in mind. Sorry, I think I got that out of order. Um, and to this end, we actually conducted a set of data curation profiles at both Cornell University and Washington University to ask, actually ask researchers what they thought. So this was partly inspired by ANS, the Australian National Data Service Model for Institutional Participation in a Broad National Data Registry and from funds from the IMLS. These are the researchers that we talk to at both universities, so it's not a statistically significant amount, but it is an important amount of researchers to ask them what did they think um, and what was important to them. Um, and so we asked them, and there you go, um, we had. There were, there were many things that came out of it, but three things that were salient to the new reinvention of Datastar, and these will be coming up in just a moment. Perhaps. Um, one is to easily transfer data to a permanent data archive. That is something that they really want. And that's actually something that we chose not to focus on in the second iteration of Datastar. Because like I said, we are actually looking at um, data discoverability. Okay. And, um, but they did think about connecting or merging data with other data sets is important. Weren't really sure how, but they know that that's a need. And we feel like that um, making our platform um, usable for this is very important. So that we're tying into the development of the future data star um, for data discoverability. And that they also want to be able to track data citations. Because the idea of data being citable and data becoming the currency that publications currently are now for academic research is becoming more and more important. So, in this, we have um, redeveloped Datastar and, um, excuse me, answering the questions of what information about a data set should we represent, what relationships between data sets and other data set entities, such as grants, publications, researchers, and institutions are important to represent, and what information about data sets is useful to re for discovery across a wide variety of different disciplines and domains. And to that point, we looked at different ontologies. We looked at the data site ontology. We looked at um, actually taking data sets and trying to put them into our system. And this is a snippet of our ontology that we've developed with others, other ontologies, to come up um, with the core function of Datastar. Now, this is an example, a mock-up of our new data, Datastar and data discoverability platform. And we are working to um, make it both a push and pull. We're working with Vivo, which is a research networking platform that I'll show you a couple of images of later, to actually um, be able to have people put in their information or get it out, and to actually harvest information that's already available. As you can see, there is login capabilities, but we're still working on the granularity of security that people want. Because again, we're not storing the data sets. We will actually have a stable URI for it to point to where the data sets are. Um, and in this, we're actually testing out public health data, but as you saw, we interviewed people across domains, so this should not be domain specific, but should be broad enough for multiple um, research areas. So 
The future, um, the goals of the future project are to extend the VIVO application and ontology to support, support the description of metadata, enabling both the discovery of data and linking it to those researchers and their publications so that data sets can actually be tied to the researchers um, who have publications, but in the case that the data set doesn't have a publication, it can still be represented within, um, represented, discovered, and cited, which is very important to um, researchers. So we're all about um, sharing this, and in um, September, we plan to release the new Data Star and the ontology. It will be free. We're, we're doing it in a manner that's similar to Vivo. Um, which means it's either going to be through GitHub or SourceForge. That's undetermined at this point, but it will be available for download and for other people in this area to um, reuse. As I said, here's some images of Vivo if you haven't seen it. But this is basically a research networking platform um, to look at publications and whatnot. It's also incorporated the Eagle Eye ontology, which is for resources. And then we feel like the other peg is the data sets. So, in conclusion, an infrastructure to support data collection analysis and management is vitally needed, in our opinion, and a component of the infrastructure should be a discovery platform. If gleaning information and knowledge from the data is the goal to increasing the speed of innovation, then discovering data using metadata in a facile, efficient manner is imperative to this process of having outputs become outcomes. Thank you.